Chapter 4 Formulas and Functions in Excel Learning Outcomes At the end of this lesson, students will be able to Comprehend the significance of formulas and functions Differentiate between formulas and functions Warm up Observe the following marks of the student fill in the missing numbers Teachers Note Inform students that the above task can be done quickly and effectively in MS Excel as it holds a wide range of formulas and functions that are easy to use. Hello friends! As we know, Excel is one of the most useful programs and can provide us with a wide range of tools to work. Let us learn how to use formulas in Excel. Formulas are the user-defined instruction to perform calculation. Whereas functions are the predefined or inbuilt formulas that can come with Excel. Working with formulas, a formula establishes a relationship between two or more cells. All Excel formulas have the same general structure, an equal sign in the beginning. Using the formulas, you can perform simple as well as complex calculations. The elements including in the formula are references range of cell including in the calculations operators symbol that mention the operation to be performed constants number or text values that do not change functions pre-configured formulas in excel do you know a range is a rectangular area made up of a collection of cells that are close to one another elements of formulas in excel remember it Formulas are not case sensitive. Example is equal to B5 plus C5 is similar to is equal to B5 plus C5. Input modes. Three input modes in Excel control how specific keystrokes and mouse click are interpreted. These input modes are as follows. Enter mode. This mode appears when you type the equal sign to begin the formula. It is the mode you use to enter the text. Point mode. Excel enters point mode when we press any navigation key on the keyboard. This is the mode you use to select a cell or a range as a formula operand. Edit mode. Excel enters edit mode when we press the F2 key. This is the mode you use to make change to the formula. Let me answer. What do you mean by input? Rules for entering formulas in cells. 1. Click the cell in which you want to enter the formula. 2. Type is equal to sign to specify that you are entering a formula. 3. Type the operands and operator of formula. 4. Press enter to get the desired result. Formulas in Excel Arithmetic formulas Arithmetic formulas are by far the most common type of formula. They conduct calculation by combining numbers cell, addresses and the result of functions with mathematical operators. Comparison Formula An expression that compares two or more numbered text strings, cell content or function output is known as a comparison formula. The result of the formula gives the logical value true if the comparison statement evaluates to be true. If the comparison statement evaluates to be false, the formula returns the logical value false. Reference formulas. The following tables mention the operator you can use in reference formula. Cell reference. A cell reference is a cell address that can be used in a formula to denote a specific cell. We can refer to a cell with its address. Let me answer. What is the meaning of reference? How can you relate it with reference formula? There are three types of cell references. Relative reference. When a formula is copied from one cell to another cell, the value is copied to automatically get changed. Follow the given step to use the relative cell reference. Step 1. Select the cell that contains the formula in which the reference of other cell is used. In the case, we have selected cell C12 in which the formula is equal to sum C3 ratio C11 is written. 2. Click on the copy command from the clipboard group under the home tab. 3. Select another cell. Here we have selected cell D12. Click on the paste command from the clipboard group under the home tab. 
before observe in the formula bar that the cell address that you have used in the formula gets changed according here d12 has the cell reference from d3 to d11 instead of c3 to c11 absolute reference Use an absolute reference if you want to keep the original reference exactly as they were. The column reference and the row reference should be preceded by a dollar symbol if you want the formula to keep its original reference when it is copied. Let us see. Step 1. Select the cell C12. Change the formula in the address bar to sum C3 to C11. 2. Select the cell C12 and click on the copy button in the clipboard group. 3. Select cell D12 and select the paste button from the clipboard group. See the values in the address bar. See the cell reference is still C3 to C11. Mixed references. A mixed reference is a combination of relative and absolute references. Either a row or column has to be logged preceding it with a dollar symbol. steps 1 add a column in stock with some values as shown click on cell c13 and type this formula is equal to dollar c12 minus e dollar 12 3 copy and paste this formula in the cell e13 see the address bar the formula is is equal to dollar c12 minus g dollar 12 the reference to c12 remains the same but the e12 has changed references to other worksheets you can refer to cell in other worksheet within the same workbook using copy and paste option follow the given step to use copy paste option steps 1 click on the sheet one tab 2 click on the cell c12 where the sum function is used 3 control c copy the formula 4 click on the sheet 3 Tab and click on the cell C11. Five. Press Control V to paste the formula using sheet reference. In this, we use sheet number, exclamation mark, and cell address to refer to a cell of a particular worksheet. For example, sheet one, exclamation mark D6, means we are referring to the cell D6 of sheet one. Steps one. Add sheet four to the workbook and type the value in sheet four. In sheet four, cell B eleven, type the formula is equal to thousand plus sheet one, exclamation mark C eleven. Three. Press enter and observe the change in the value shown in the cell B eleven. Functions. Functions are predefined formulas in Excel to perform simple and complex calculation. Functions eliminate the chance to write incorrect formulas. They accept the arguments and return values. Arguments are the information which contains input values to the function. The values are given within brackets, parentheses, argument can be numbers or text, etc. Return values display function output. Rules to enter a function. All Excel function must begin with is equal to sign. The function name must be a valid Excel name. Open and close parentheses must be placed after the function. Arguments must be enclosed in parentheses. Average function: the average function returns the average of the range values. The arguments can be a range of cells, simply numbers or numbers along with cell references. Follow the given step to calculate the average. Step one: click on the cell where you want to place the average of values. Let us say C11 sheet 1. Two. Select the insert function button on the formulas tab to open the insert function dialog box. Three. Select average from the list box and click on the OK button. Four. Drag the mouse pointer to cell E6. Five. The cell E6 will display is equual to average C6 ratio C6 6. Type the closing parenthesis symbol and press the enter key. Seven. The cell E6 will display the calculated result. Get cycle. Kanchan has made a spreadsheet for the marks obtained by the student of her class in different subjects. 
which option should she select to update the spreadsheet? She has to change marks in one of the subjects of any student. Let's recall. 1. An Excel formula starts with an is equal to sign. 2. Formulas are the user-defined instruction to perform calculations. 3. Functions are the predefined or inbuilt formulas that come with Excel. 4. Excel gives you three ways to enter the edit mode. 5. The average function returns the average of the range rules. 6. Mixed references is a combination of relative and absolute reference. 7. Absolute reference is used to keep the original reference exactly as they were. Upskill your intelligence. A. Fill in the blanks. 1. A formula establish a dash between two or more cells. Answer. Relationship. 2. There are dash input modes in Excel. Answer. 3. 3. Dash formulas are the most common type of formula. Answer. Arithmetic. 4. A cell reference is a cell dash that can be used in a formula to denote a specific cell. Answer. Address. 5. A mixed reference is a combination of dash and dash references. Answer. Relative and absolute. B. Write T for true statements and F for false statements. 1. Enter mode begins when we press any navigation key on the keyboard. Answer. False. 2. Absolute reference is used to keep the original reference exactly as they were. Answer. True. 3. Function eliminate the chance to write incorrect formulas. Answer. True. 4. We can refer to a cell with its address. Answer. True. 5. Arguments must be enclosed in parentheses. Answer. True. C. Define the following. 1. Functions. Answer. Functions are predefined formulas in Excel to perform simple and complex calculations. Functions eliminate the chance to write incorrect formulas. 2. References. Answer. A cell references is a cell address that can be used in a formula to denote a specific cell. 3. Operators. Answer. Symbols that mention the operation to be performed. 4. Constants. Answer. Number or text values that do not change. 5. Comparison formula. An expression that compares two or more numbers, text strings, cell content or function output is known as a comparison formula. D. Answer the following questions. 1. Explain the types of input modes. Answer. 1. Enter mode. This mode appears when you type the equal sign to begin the formula. It is the mode you use to enter text. 2. Point mode. When we press any navigation key on the keyboard, Excel enters point mode. This is the mode you use to select a cell or range as a formula operand. 3. Edit mode. Excel enters edit somewhere present the F2 key. This is the mode you use to make change the formula. 2. What is the relative reference? Answer. When a formula is copied from one cell to another cell, the value in the copied cell automatically gets changed. 3. What are the rules to enter a function? Answer. Rules to enter a function. A. All Excel function must begin with equal sign. B. The function name must be valid Excel name. C. Open and close parentheses must be placed after the function. D. Arguments must be enclosed in parentheses. 4. Write the steps to calculate the average. Answer. Follow the given step to calculate the average. Steps. 1. Click on the cell where you want to place the average of the values. Let us say C11 sheet 1. 2. Select the insert function button on the formulas tab to open the insert function dialog box. 3. Select average from list box and click on the OK button. 5. What do you mean by mixed references? Answer. A mixed reference is a combination of relative and absolute references. Either a row or log by preceding it with a dollar symbol.
सिंपल प्रैक्टिकल थिंकिंग एबीसी इंटरनेशनल स्कूल ऑर्गेनाइज द क्रिकेट मैच बिटवीन क्लास सिक्स ए एंड सिक्स बी सोमिया वन ऑफ द स्टूडेंट वॉज आस्ट टू प्रिपेयर अ वर्कशीट टू स्टोर द रन स्कोर बाय ईच प्लेयर नाउ शी हैज प्रिपेयर इट एंड वॉन्ट्स टू कॉपी द डेटा अलॉन्ग विद द फॉर्मूला एंड पेस्ट इट इन टू अनदर वर्कशीट suggest to her the cell reference she should use to perform the task answer student will do it themselves team work a create a worksheet in which you would maintain your monthly expenses on stationery the worksheet must have the following headings serial number commodity price quantity find the total for each heading by using formulas learned in this chapter answer The students will do it themselves. B. Conduct a group discussion on the topic function versus formula. Answer. Student will do it themselves.